Okay, keto grocery haul. I want to show you what we get, and I also want to kind of explain a little bit more. Uh, so if this is not your kind of thing, just keep scrolling. This will be super boring for you. But if you are doing keto or low carb and want some more information, stick around. Salad mix. You guys, this is like literally zero carbs. You can have a huge heaping salad. Um, if you struggle like me to feel full and satisfied, I use this as a tool to bulk up. You get to eat a ton of food for like literally no calories and no carbs. Like, let's look. Um, three cups is two grams of net carbs. So when you do net carbs, you know, you take the total diet uh, minus the fiber um, three huge cups, which is a lot of salad, you guys, is two grams of net carbs. Like, this is an, you need to have this in your fridge all the time. Okay, anyways, moving. Okay, celery is also a super low carb, uh, vegetable. I don't love celery, but it's crunchy. I like to add it to, like, tuna or chicken salad, so I like to have that in my fridge. Cauliflower. <laughs> I love cauliflower. It is another good low carb vegetable. Let's take a look. Uh, for one cup is two grams of net carbs. So super low carb vegetable. I love this. I like to roast it. Um, broccoli as well is broccoli, cauliflower, salad are my three staple vegetables that I keep all the time. This again, one cup is two grams of net carbs. So, so of course we eat other vegetables, but those are like my always constantly have in my fridge no matter what. Okay, let's move on. We got some bacon today. You guys, be careful with bacon. You need to be sure that you're getting not like a sugary uh, maple bacon. Like that's not gonna work, guys. So just because it's bacon, you still gotta pay attention. So over here, total carbs. So this is a hickory smoked. But again, if you're getting like brown sugar maple bacon, that is not low carb. So still pay attention to which type you are getting. Uh, we have chicken thighs. Chicken thighs are a great protein. They're higher in fat, which is what you need. Uh, your body is running on fat for energy because you're not eating carbs. So you're going to need to up your fats, which if you're doing keto or low carb, you know that. But this is an awesome protein to do that. Okay, uh, we have blackberries and blueberries. I don't love blackberries, but they're blackberries, raspberries, strawberries. Most berries are the lower fruits in carbs. I truthfully don't eat a ton of this. This is mostly for my daughter. Um, but if you are going to want to crave some type of fruit or something, berries are the way to go. Uh, Swiss cheese. I don't like Swiss cheese, but my husband does. Uh, one gram of net carb per slice. Two good yogurts. These <laughs> are my jam, you guys. Uh, they're a little tart. I add some stevia to them, just FYI. Um, I haven't really yet found a yogurt other than too good that is low in carbs. So this is three grams of carbs. Like I said, this is the only one that I have found. Again, they're tart, FYI. I definitely add some stevia to them. Avocados, a uh, great way to get in some healthy fats. We got pork rinds, of course, um, regular and spicy. These are my favorite, the Baconettes. Uh, not all pork rinds are created equal. These are my fave. These are okay. Um, but another FYI on pork rinds, be careful when you're buying flavored pork rinds. Barbecue um, is sweet, so they're going to be adding some type of sugar or some type of sweetener. So be careful. Read the labels on those as well. Uh, we love blue cheese, <laughs> uh, blue cheese dressing, one gram of net carb per two tablespoons. That's actually, um, really good. A little trick to this, I add just a splash of water and it kind of thins it out. So your two tablespoons will go a little bit farther. And we got buffalo sauce. So not all buffalo sauce is created equal. Is it zero carbs? Sometimes. So Frank's Red Hot is, it is zero carbs. Okay, let's check out Sweet Baby Ray's is not. It has one gram per tablespoon, which if you're putting this on wings, you were using probably like half a cup or a cup. So that one tablespoon is going to add up super fast. So just be aware that not all things are created equal. You still have to be careful and look at 
uh, the labels because you never know which one has some carbs and some don't. So I tend to like find the brands I love, like the Baconettes, like you find the stuff that you like and you kind of stick with it because you know exactly how much is in there. Um, so yeah, so that is what we got. And I've been wanting to like explain a little bit more why I choose the foods that I pretty much eat the same things week in and week out just because they work for me. So this is what um, we got this week for groceries.